Hey, from Marie at Messy and Creations. Welcome to part two. Um, if you don't know what we're part two of, then um, possibly find part one. <laughs> so, one sheet wonder. I created a one sheet wonder earlier um, from um, the textures and frames and watercolour shapes. And I am now going to make the cards. I have a pack of the Suttles A4 cardstock, um, which gives you two sheets of every colour within the Suttles range. Now, I didn't use Blushing Bride, so I'm going to whip that one out. And I didn't use Highland Heather, so I'm going to whip that one out so that I end up with the colours that I used in my one sheet wonder oh I didn't use mint macaron either so let's get those colours out of the way because we don't want to confuse things and essentially I have one two three four five six cards to make so I did my first cut at nine centimeters along the short side of my trimmer. So it's nine centimeters by 13.45. So I have two of those to make two cards with. I have a set of three by nine to make a card with. That will make sense. I have two smaller pieces which are 12 by 7.5. And a piece that is the 10.85 by 6.5. And then that uses the whole sheet apart from these little odd bits, which I am hanging on to for now, because you never know. I might come up with something a bit random to do with them. Or you can just cut a one sheet wonder straight into four. Um, but in essence, what happens when we add different colour bases behind our cards is it completely changes the colours that are pulled out of the card. So this one I think definitely needs to be on a pear pizzazz card base. But potentially what might be quite nice is if we went with pool party... was one sheet I had in my hand and layered it up yeah quite like that one on the pool party <laughs> um, then so we're laying that up and actually maybe how about That's quite a nice little combination, isn't it? So there's one card. So let's quickly make that up. So for the card base, I'm going to cut at 10.5. Oh, I've still got a bit of that stuff on. And score at... 14.85 so essentially I have then cut the pieces down to size so this I'm going to cut at 10 by 14.45 so then we end up with a half a centimetre on each card and then I cut my one sheet wonder up with that in mind if you tend to make more cards in a portrait I would tend to suggest that you cut your paper the other way around I tend to make more cards in this way portrait
So that tends to be why I cut the card the way that I do. Then you just need to stick that together and then just add whatever your preferred sentiment is. But with each of these layers, there is a half centimeter gap. But each time you use a different card, so I'll do something quite different with other pieces so that you can see the difference it makes. So using the same color, so choose the inks that you've got matching coordinating cardstock for. Now that card at the moment can be either way. So with this one, if we pick out Calypso Coral, some Petal pink. I'm just let's right. Let's do one with just two colours, so that you can see. So I'm going to cut my card base again, short side of the card in because I just I do prefer that. style of card but obviously that is so this my first layer piece I'm going to cut a full centimetre smaller rather than doing the layers so what that will mean is you see more of the calypso coral than you do the blushing bride but hopefully what you can then see is it makes a completely different look for the card. So hopefully you can see there, it lifts the colours completely differently. And then what I do with this piece, and then essentially I would just layer up the other pieces in the same sort of way. And I think this one, what should we do, well let's do a pool party card base, a uh, pool party, balmy blue. And maybe so saffron. So I'm going to mount those onto a so saffron piece. But if I do a card base, you will see or why I cut those pieces as I did. And she just cut her card instead of scored. So do remember to score, use your scoring blade. Otherwise you just end up with two pieces of card instead of a card base. So in essence what I'm going to do is put those pieces across the card in that way. So I'm going to use so saffron. So I'm going to cut it ten by fourteen point four five. Cut it. Do that the correct way round. Now what we could do potentially is we could add a little something by adding 
ribbon because they're a little bit too far apart like that so I'm thinking even it out across the card do you know what oh that's not quite going to be long enough So it needs something. But what I am thinking is the metallic mesh ribbon would add a nice bit of silver. Just cut a piece of that. So cut a rather long piece of that. So we could have that going across because we haven't really got ribbon in any of these colours currently. But obviously if you have in your stash, you can use the ribbon that you've got. But I'm going to create a multi-layer. Appearance by so it just adds a bit of interest, and then what I'm thinking is a bit of this that I've got left over. I could tie, oh, like that idea, right? Let us so you just start playing around because essentially what will happen is different ideas will come to you. So I love just sitting and playing. So I'm going to put a bit of tape. To, oh, everything's sticking to me. So a bit of tape either side. So remembering this is a mesh ribbon, so I'm going to be need to be careful about where I put this card down until I want it permanently fixed. I'm put it on top of my bone folder. Then I'm going to add this across the middle because I don't want to tie that to the main piece everything, everything in the way one day I'm going to learn to tidy craft however don't hold your breath kind of get into a I'm hoping you're the same. You get into a little creative zone and everything goes flying and you end up with stuff everywhere. So it's far easier for the tape not to go against that mesh ribbon. So just making sure that it's in the centre of that mesh ribbon. And then what I'm thinking is I can tie a piece of the mesh around that because the thing with the mesh ribbon is it ties really small mm -mm -mm. I like it I thought that I'm going to waste a lot of ribbon so what we don't want to do is have a lot of wastage so I want that piece there to be a lot shorter so that I've only got a little teeny bit to trim off not a big piece so I don't want to waste a lot still too much so just adjust your ribbon so that you're not wasting a lot of this gorgeous I love this mesh ribbon You can see how it just ties a really neat knot. So <clears throat> we're going to have a piece. Gonna... Right, what I'm going to do to save myself getting into a pickle, I am going to stick this down first. Because it's already got glue on the back, it's starting to stick to other things. So the world's disaster would be to have it to stick to, stick to the wrong thing. That's going on to the balmy blue. 
then I'm going to stick one of these in the middle of the card and then I'm going to space the other two and then have that little knot in between. Now if you gave that card to someone, how impressed are they going to be? So I'm going to leave them quite long at the moment. And that piece probably is still too short to tie, however, do not throw it away. That kind of fills the gap and evens it up. And we've still got space top or bottom to uh, pop a sentiment. I'm not going to put any sentiments on these. It's so handy to have a card pre-made that all you have to do is add a sentiment but I think you could have a sentiment either side in the middle so I need another bit of mesh ribbon and the only reason I'm tying the knot first is really because once you've glued you haven't got a bigger big, big piece to grab it's easier to grab that ribbon when there's more to it once you've got that little bit there so then we just need to trim that stick this other bit on the mesh ribbon does tie a beautiful knot or bow Let's just try and space that in the same way as I have done the other side so that it looks even. Trim that to a sim ooh, similar length to the other one that looks slightly long. Best to leave it too long than too short. Can't put it back on once you've cut it off. So, and again, that could be either way up. So you could have a sentiment here, sentiment there, or you could have your sentiment along there or up there. <gasps> Loving that. But you can see just from those three cards the difference it makes by adding different colours of card layers. So hopefully that inspires you to do some creativity. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.